Hey, this is Paul at Paul Component. Today I'm going to talk a little bit about uh, vibratory tumbling and finishing. And that's a heavy water use process. Um, and I've spent uh, many years trying to figure out a system to filter, recycle, and uh, recirculate that water. I failed every time until I actually spent some money. This right here is some of the garbage that will be going to the dump today uh, from past systems. So. We'll go take a look and see what did work finally. So inside here, this is the finishing room where we do all our vibratory tumbling. And um, in the process, we use a lot of water. And I have been building, uh, I'm on my fourth system now to recirculate the water, reuse it, and then use it for a little bit of irrigation for some of the uh, plants we got going around here. Oh, thank you, Blue. Um, so anyways, so this, the third system did not work. It was a valiant effort on my part. I put tons of time into it, but I did. This is part of that system and it is thank goodness being reused for the newest system that i have that is actually working um there's uh, about 1200 pounds of water in there and it's directly above the toilet this is a bathroom so if you ever visit and you use this bathroom just keep your fingers crossed okay that it doesn't collapse on your head because um, that would be bad just kidding just kidding Totally overbuilt. It's all hidden in tin, but there is a lot of timber in there holding that weight up. So what we're going to do next is we're going to go inside here and take a look. But if you see, we've got some electrical. That's for a switch that keeps it filled up all the way to where the top of that conduit is. We got some copper plumbing. That's the feed line. We have another feed line going up from this room, and there's another feed line to that does nothing but keep the tank filled up to that. There's a float switch up in there. And so the water comes out and it goes right across here. Copper tubing goes into here. We'll go take a look at what goes on in there. It's pretty cool. So this is the tumbling slash uh, finishing room. This is, this is the finishing room. Right here we've got our copper pipes coming in from outside. This room's notoriously dirty, but Brianna is keeping it nice and tidy in here. Uh, which is really nice and we've got some new stuff but what happens is the water gravity fed comes from that tank through here and down to here and feeds this and this tumbler the water comes out automatically uh, and then it feeds another tumbler over there and as these things go the water helps flush the uh what's called the effluent or the swarf out because what these things do is rub on the parts and actually grind so you got some super fine gr uh, grit in there some super fine um, grains of uh, both this plastic wearing down and the aluminum being ground off not a lot but it does pile up uh, after tumbling they go into a ultrasonic cleaner and they come over here to a drying rack uh, there's a pan down there that dries the parts um, let's see so the water goes into the tumblers we have three of them hooked up right now it flows out goes into another bin like I said this is a messy area um, and gets pumped into another bin and then that gets pumped into our new machine now this is what uh, I have been trying to replicate for probably 15 years with filters and bags and barrels and pumps and it just never happened so this 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 one I thought I got close, but it wasn't even close. And this was the most complicated system. So out of those tumblers, the water would go out, go into a bucket and then pumped out of one of these tubes, uh, out of this tube. And then I, what I tried to do is set up a gravity filter um, 
So it would pump into this barrel or drum. And then I thought, okay, the water will settle down. And so it comes out the top. And so all that uh, stuff that's in the water will settle down and it'll go over here. So I had a double system. So like it was going to last for like 20 years or something, right? Both of these filled up completely full in about six months. Uh, that I was not expecting. And then when it overflowed this drum, it would flow into a um, filter. It's called a filter bag. <laughs> and it is rock solid. Uh, we would go fill up one of those in just a couple days. Um, and there was a uh, bucket under there with a pump to pump it back up to that tank we were talking about. But this was my last ditch effort until, uh, you know, I decided to Google. I don't know if you guys have heard about Google. It's like a thing where you can look at the entire internet. And I actually found that this problem had been solved a long time ago. Um, and the company we bought our unit from was down in uh, Concord, which was an easy drive for me. Uh, I grew up down there, so that was kind of fun to go back uh, from Chico, so um, California. So that unit is doing this, only it's actually doing it. So I'm pretty excited to finally get there. So, but I did finally spent some actual money and bought this machine and i love it it was not cheap not cheap by any means but what happens is we have as this thing spins around and round and round and there's a plastic tub in there and it forces the the contaminants in the water against the tub and then the water will flow out uh, much, much cleaner. Now, we've been running uh, that tank for a few years without any kind of cleaner, so the water in there is really dirty. So, for example, this is one day's worth of cleaning the water, so there's a lot of crap in there. We got. We got probably a year's worth of cleaning to do, get all that water nice and clean. But that dries out and goes in the garbage. It goes away. It's, it looks grody, but there's nothing dangerous about it. Um, and so it goes to the, unfortunately it goes to the landfill. We, we can't recycle it, but uh, super excited about that. So we're getting clean water. Eventually, we'll have clean water running through here. It's reused. We're not using it. In the old days, we run through here and go to the septic tank and because um, we're on septic. And so I'd have to get that pumped a few times a year. And uh, But now we're reusing the water. We're cleaning it. The water is actually used to um, water some of the uh, the shrubbery and the plants we have around here, which, which I just love. Um, and you know, California, it doesn't really rain here anymore. So we got to, we got to recycle that water as much as we can. So that's cleaning, tumbling water. Uh, don't, don't go through all the trouble I went through. Just buy the thing. If you've got a, if you've got a big operation, it's my advice to you. Bye.